Hello everyone, I'm Chris Knight. you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the World Poker Tour Grand Prix de Paris here at the Aviation Club de France. I am here with your Season 11 winner, Matt Salzberg. Matt, congratulations. Thanks, Chrissy. <laughs> you gave me a little tired look there. We've been here for a long time. It was a very grueling final table. Definitely. Has it been able to sink in, the, the excitement of the win? Uh, it's pretty overwhelming, you know, like I've just been like focusing on poker for the last four days and this is a really really tough final table like I knew I'd basically have to like you know play my a game uh, you know maybe get luck lucky against these guys um, just because they're really really strong table they're very experienced I, I feel like I made a couple mistakes you know today but um, I just I just wanted to make sure I protected my stack for the most part and uh, you know, so if I got heads up, I knew I'd have a chance, and uh, that's sort of what happened, you know. I, I got a little unlucky heads up uh, at the beginning to start uh, just a couple cooler situations, and then I got ridiculously lucky um, beating Ace-5 with Ace-4, and then Ace-10 with a against Ace-Queen was just like, you know, to four flush there, it was just like obviously like super lucky. And then on the last hand, just picking up a couple queens uh, and, you know, Theo just kind of in there with queen 10. Couldn't have been a better type of situation. So, re really fortunate. I got, I mean, I ran unbelievably well this whole tournament. Um, I started off really poorly. I was down to 8,000 in chips after 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I, like, had called off a huge bet that I, looked, I just kind of looked up at this guy because he looked like a crazy hero. And, uh, but he had the goods. And, uh... So I was really mad at myself for that, um, but then I just battled back and then started running good after that, and it's just been amazing. Don't sell yourself short. Everyone has to get lucky in order to win a tournament. And uh, speaking of that True. tough final table, more yeah. than $10 million in lifetime winnings by all the players at the table. Yeah. Now everyone there plays poker for a living, and you yeah. actually have a day job. I do, yeah. I want to know though, what are the odds you might be quitting that television producing day job to play well, some poker? Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of almost play semi-professionally anyway because like my job sort of has taken up half the year for like eight years and then the other half I'm on hiatus. So I really play a lot. I probably have as much live experiences like any of these guys. And in fact, probably even more so. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, have some poker accolades yourself, almost yeah, half a million in winning yeah, yourself. Yeah, I've had like, and, and it's all been in the last like year and a half, I've had a really good like, since last main event, I came 70, 70th in the main event last year, and uh, I've won like four or five tournaments since then, plus had like numerous caches, like LAPC prelim I've won, I've won a Bellagio prelim, uh, took six of the Venetian 5k, so like my results have been really good for the last year and a half, and it's just like, the you know, a big one's always kind of, you know, eluded me, and uh, this is amazing. Like, I can't even, like, explain how cool this is. <laughs> Great. Well, tomorrow, we're all catching a plane to WPT Malta. How does that sound for you? Carry the momentum there? No, I'm actually <laughs> supposed to go to Borgata, believe it or not. Okay. Um, although, I might have to reconsider because I was supposed to leave. My flight was out today. Obviously, I had to cancel that. I'm on a flight early in the morning, but the thought of going, like, flying to New York City, then driving to Atlantic City for a $3,500 event. I really got to just think about whether or not I want to do that right now. Maybe I'll just stick around here for a few more days and maybe head, head down to Con or something like that, possibly. Um, but I have some responsibilities back at home for work, so uh, I just got to think about all of it. <laughs> All yeah. right, well, we'll let you get some sleep, get some rest, well, sleep or party, whichever you prefer. Congratulations. Thank you guys for watching our coverage here at the WPT Grand Prix de Paris. Here is your latest champion, Matt Salzberg.